go back to Gordon Peterson at the Pentagon. Uh, Andrea and Mike, I'm here with a familiar face, Mike Walder of USA Today. Mike, you actually saw this happen. I Tell us what you saw. I did indeed, Gordon. Uh, you know, like everyone else, I was listening to the radio to the accounts of what was going on in New York. I was listening to President Bush, and, and we were stuck in traffic. We're coming off the, the exit here, and I looked up, and I saw this American Airlines jet coming in very low, and I watched it, and it, and it clipped. I don't know if you can see it over here. It clipped this ball over here. And the emotion slammed right into the building. Huge explosion. Uh, and then utter pandemonium, as you might imagine. I mean, everybody was screaming, oh, my God. People started saying, we've got to turn around. They hit the Pentagon. A frantic woman turned her car around and started weaving her way out. I got out of my car and went over here, and we could see uh, military personnel bringing tarps out and setting up like a triage unit, a number of stretchers. Uh, as they, they, you know, you could hear fire engines, just, it was just sirens, sirens, sirens as they arrived. They started to hit the building with the, with the uh, foam, and actually we're doing a pretty good job. And then we saw the uh, triage people with the, with the uh, stretchers running, sprinting over here. But at that point, they moved us back. And of course, there was a threat of another plane coming here at that time. And I don't know what's happened with that. Now, you're sure it was an American Airlines plane? I, it, you know, we were stuck in traffic, could not move. I could see the big AA, the silver jet itself. I thought it was a 737. I may be mistaken there. But there was no doubt about it. It was American Airlines slammed right into the building. And there was no doubt about it. Whoever was piloting that plane was aiming for the Pentagon. And we do know they hit a taxi cab. The plane hit a taxi cab up, up here on the bridge, the overpass. I, I didn't, didn't know that. I did not see. I saw the ball of fire. And, yeah, and I saw it clip these, these uh, poles. And then the, the billowing smoke, a gray column of smoke, and, and then pandemonium. Dave? They're bringing in three, looks like at least three now more medevac helicopters here. I don't know if that means they've found more victims there. We know we saw earlier at least two people seriously burned, taken out of here by medevac helicopters. Certainly the people in those offices after the initial um, fire and explosion. Another ambulance. Yeah, also, D.C. Fire Department has sent people across the bridges over here to help Arlington fight the fire, which, as you can see, is still out of control. So there's still a lot of activity going on here in fighting the fire and dealing with the injured. Gordon, I talked to a staff sergeant who was in the building on the third floor. He arrived for work probably around 745, and he said when it hit, the doors to the offices flew open. And, but he did say it was an orderly, it wasn't chaotic, it was an orderly transition out of the building and everyone got out. All right, this is the scene from right now live at the Virginia Hospital Center.